good evening, good evening. Uh, I, I know that my life is quite late tonight, pero okay lang yan. I've had a very fruitful and productive Tuesday. So I hope you've had your Tuesdays uh, productive as well. And I hope that you are cool, staying cool. Napaka-init ulit. Sumasakit ang ulo ko sa sobrang init. So I, I think hindi kukulangin ng dalawang ligo sa isang araw <laughs> to keep cool. So, hello, good evening. This is Coach Jeriel. I am a professional certified life coach from Life Coach Philippines. I am a certified martial arts instructor. I am a marine engineer by profession and I am also an, a freelance worker. I am an online dating profile management specialist. So, pinapadali ko ang buhay ng mga nahihirapan maghanap ng dates. <laughs> Or at least mag-manage ang kanilang mga dating profiles. So, yan. So, tonight, we have something very special. Uh, especially in this generation that is easily offended. A generation of snowflakes. Ika nga. Uh, people who are quite difficult in taking criticisms or feedback so our segment tonight is how well do you handle feedback because feedback is one of the most vital learning processes nakakailanganin mo even I even especially the most successful people they take advantage of this feedback loop how? ito yun. So, how does the feedback loop work? So, it works by, for example, you. You're doing something, let's say, uh, let's say you're into sports. Or, yes, let's start with sports. O, nagbabasketball ka. Meron kang nakitang move sa NBA. Uy, hello, Coach Joanna. <laughs> Thank you for dropping by. And I do appreciate you still being up tonight. <laughs> Siguro gagawa ka na rin. So, ito. Uh, the feedback loop, going back to that sports-oriented uh, approach. So, may nakita ka move sa, sa NBA. Pinractice mo, ginawa mo. And you think that it will work when you play. Or when you play outside. So, you learn something. Then, sinubukan mo siya. Sinubukan mo siya. You try to fit it in your own, on your own move set. So, syempre, darating dyan yung experimentation. So, you learn it, you execute it, then, experimentation. After no experimentation, will come the part where doon mo malalaman kung effective ba yung inaral mo. Effective ba yung inintegrate mo sa moveset mo. So, that's where the feedback stage is very vital because uh, with your integration of a new move into your moveset, makikita mo kung effective siya. So, there will be times that it will be effective and that will tell you pag nakascore ka. Or if you have shaken off your defender. Doon mo rin makikita kung hindi rin siya effective. Kanino ba siya hindi effective? Kanino siya hindi lumusot? And from that feedback stage, makikita mo ano ba yung dapat mong i-improve sa kanya. Ayan, no? <laughs> wow, si Coach Miko, Master Coach Miko, thank you for dropping by and <laughs> oh batang bata pa si Coach Miko. <laughs> Ayan. thank you for thank you for watching. Napakalaki ng tinutulong sa akin ni Master Coach Mix uh, with my coaching career and with my development, not just as a life coach but also as a uh, as a person. Kasi marami siyang naituturo at marami ako natututunan with our interactions. So yun, yung, yung feedback loop na yun, uh, when you know or when you see something that is effective, syempre gagamitin mo siya, papraktisin mo palalo. And when you see something that is not as effective, you have to go back and reevaluate bakit nga ba siya hindi gumana at kanino siya hindi gumagana. And most people just stop at the application and experimentation. Why? People fear or sometimes people feel that getting feedback is an insult. Some people feel that getting feedback means that they have not prepared enough, that their efforts are perfect 
on the first try. Diba? It, you may get it right sometimes the first time, but not all the time. Kahit gano'n mo katindi practice yan, iba pa rin yung i-errorun mo siya with the actual with the actual game or with the actual activity. Iba pa rin yun. And you will need you will need to restudy it and reapply it countless times for you to make it something that would work with uh, it will work with any person or any activity. So yun, kaya natitigilan yung mga tao. So, that is how your feedback loop works. You learn something, you apply it, then you experiment with it. Experimentation is making it a part of your own. And experiment mo eh. Then, after that experimentation is yung feedback. How effective is it? Tama ba siya para sa'yo? Diba? Or if it's not right for you, what moves it? Or what kind of skills that you need to develop for it to bring the desired results for you. Diba? People will also sometimes fear being blamed. Why? Kasi hindi naman nga masarap na pakiramdam na pagbintangan ka. Especially when you are when you are in charge of very crucial operations. Mahirap talaga. So earlier I was just decompressing and napanood ko yung ano napanood ko yung isa sa mga clips ni Kobe Bryant and Phil Jackson that the tagline was Phil Jackson blames Kobe for their loss and see how Kobe responds so pinanood ko it's just a one and a half uh, minute clip so yun nga sinabi ni Phil Jackson that uh, whenever they come to the fourth quarter so Kobe cranks it up so he's putting energy into it and he starts he starts their fourth quarter. Humahabol sila, bumabawi sila, if behind sila. Or, inaano pa niya, inaangat niya yung lamang. However, that particular game, natalo sila. Ang sabi lang ni Kobe, yes, that is true. Uh, I crank it up, I, I want to kick start something, and I, I want to win. And that's how we win ball games. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, was he blamed? No, he wasn't blamed. So when does it turn into blaming? It turns into blaming if the mindset of the people around you would just attribute it to your fault. And you stay there. Pag nag ka or pag pinaglagian mo yung, yung, yung pagkakamali or yung fault at nagstay ka lang dun. Then, uh, that what's make uh, that what makes it blaming. Di kasalanan mo yan eh. Kasalanan mo ikaw, ikaw. Ikaw ang may mali. It's all your fault we lost because of you. That is blame. And no one wants to be in a team that blames or promotes that blame culture. So how does it turn into or how does it become constructive criticism instead of blaming? So, yung sa stage kasi ng blame, hindi nalang wala. Tapos sinabi, kasalanan mo to. And that's it. Constructive criticism moves past that by that certain person or that person who's in charge accepts and owns up to their mistake. Nagiging constructive criticism siya. So, it's that mindset that you have that, okay, it was my fault, it was my mistake, and okay, I will own up to it. And how do we move forward from there? And how do we, how do we prevent that from happening again? So nobody stays in that fault, or nobody stays in that moment of uh, when the fault happened. Nagmove on kayo, and that becomes constructive criticism, and that's one of the strongest tools that you can have. Mayon pag malambot ang buto mo at malambot ang ano mo ang pakiram ang lo- loob mo, you will not go past the blame you will find somebody else to blame. Or you will blame something na, ah, masakit kasi. Ah, injured ako. Ah, I wasn't feeling, I wasn't at the top of my game. No. When you go to constructive criticism as feedback, you will own up to it and you will provide or you will find the ways on how you can improve from there. So, yan. Yun yung pinagkaiba nila. So, my question is to you, 
the dear viewers that what have you done to strengthen yourself through feedback? Ano ba ang mga ginagawa niyo? What are your habits? Ako, example ko, whenever I receive feedback, I detach myself from it. If there's a feedback about my life, kung say, boring nung topic mo, or masyado kang monotonous magsalita, or masyadong robot, I take that. I write it down, and I practice how can I prevent uh, its occurrence. Ano ba ang dapat kong gawin? Then from there, I start, I just keep on practicing. And later on, people will see, ay, okay, gumagaling na. And that's, that's just it. There's no secret sauce, walang, walang, walang magic formula for it. So, what have you done to strengthen yourself through feedback? Do let me know in the comments kung paano nyo siya ina-apply. And what are the moments that you have applied this and things changed? So, I hope you are, you are all uh, a little bit enlightened and I hope this content fits uh, the narrative of your life. Na sana nakatulong siya. So, if you are curious about coaching, or you want to experience the magic of life coaching, or you want to be certified as a life coach, do contact us at lifecoachphilippines at 0917-586-1661. That is through Coach Rizal at 0917-586-1661. So, if you have any comments, suggestions, violent reactions, let me know in the comments so I can engage. Gusto ko nalalaman ko ano lang nangyayari sa ano nyo, sa sa inyong pag nanonood kayo ng, ano, ng mga lives ko. So, I also have a YouTube channel and I will migrate some of my lives there. So, it's Coach Jariel. The description is in the link. So, I hope you are staying cool, safe, hydrated, and healthy always. So, I will see you again tomorrow. Peace out.